202.8. What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. This YouTube video is gonna obviously be about um, just my starting point for my prep, for my power to me. Um, I'm competing June 10th and I just rehired fam as my nutrition coach in order to get my weight down and uh, started on Monday. We are currently at 202.8 pounds to basically start this prep off. Uh, in this video, I will be going to the grocery store in the next 30 minutes or so in order to uh, kind of get all the groceries that I need in order to be successful for this cut. So the goal is to go from 202 pounds down to 185 pounds. I'm gonna be detailing everything that I do in order to get down to that weight. We already have a game plan in order to do so. We have a lot of work to do, but we also have three months in order to get that done. So I'm very confident in my ability to do so. So. Mm, shit, let's go to the grocery store. I'm gonna get all the groceries that I need and I'm gonna break down my macros, the game plan, um, all the groceries that I do get, the reasons why I eat those certain things, everything that I'm gonna be taking and give you guys a full insight as to what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm also gonna be doing a full day of eating. So <clears throat> let's get over to the grocery store because it's already eight. you guys experience this but like whenever you start the cut there's like that initial push where you just you just feel motivated right like me weighing 200 plus pounds uh rel relatively pretty consistently i feel like i've been up close to 200 pounds and a little bit over 200 pounds for the last couple of maybe weeks or even like a month or so and i just feel motivated just because i know what i'm going to be doing um, for the next couple of months and i know like how i'm going to be doing it so i'm just super motivated to start this diet off and get kind of back on track i want to give you guys like the whole experience during this uh, weight loss process you guys are going to be able to monitor how my strength goes maybe uh maintaining as much strength as i possibly can while i do this cut and it's just gonna be uh it's gonna be interesting god damn 200 plus pounds for the last couple of weeks or last month or so shit's crazy but um yeah we're going to heb heb for those of you guys that do not live in texas is one of the most clutch grocery stores that you'll ever go to i mean shit's amazing i feel like a lot of people have to go to different grocery stores but heb got everything you need it got obviously groceries but it has like specific things in order to help you execute anything you need nutritionally i know people overseas y'all grocery stores not the greatest you know you guys don't have a lot of options but heb is like one of the better grocery stores in the nation and it's only like available in texas so i'm heading over there right now to go pick up all the groceries that i need and uh hopefully they're not too weird about me filming because sometimes they'll tell me to put the camera up but we'll see what we get there okay guys first order of business is to grab veggies so the way i like to grocery shop is i go on the outskirts of the grocery store because that's where you're going to find like the good stuff so um gotta get my spinach where is that spinach 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 oh brussels sprouts here i'm not gonna put that wall here spinach jk spinach is right here can't forget my favorite vegetable of all time mushrooms Okay, so continuing the trend of staying on the outskirts of the grocery store, uh, we're picking up the most clutch thing ever, ground turkey, 93.7 version. So I'm getting two of these, and I also need some chicken somewhere. I think I'm going to start getting, let me show you guys. So this, uh, this is like an HEB brand thing, but these uh, chicken breasts, launch lines, are like already uh, marinated and seasoned, so all you have to do is drop them on the pan and cook them. So I'm going to get this one right here because it has a little bit more meat to it. But these are super clutch and they come out super juicy whenever you cook them. Uh, macros on them are pretty solid. Uh, fat isn't too, isn't anything too crazy. Literally 3 grams of fat per serving with uh, 22 grams of protein and 2 grams of carbs. Amazing. So yeah, my strategy usually whenever I'm at the grocery store, like I said, is to go on the outskirts, shop on the outskirts, pick up everything I need to pick up. And then as... I want more specific things. I'll circle around to the middle part of the grocery store where all the bullshit's at, you know, like little sauces and things of that nature. But continuing with the outskirts of the grocery store, we're picking up egg whites. Another breakfast staple here. So let's grab this. You guys can tell by now I am a vegetable slut. Hey, yo, pause, Arf. So I need the uh, 
this little peas, carrots, and uh, corn little mix here. Uh, I think I already have broccoli, so I should be good. Let's see. But I do like the, what is this called? The broccoli florets? Nah, hell no. Nah. That's cauliflower. There we go. Broccoli florets right here. Or florets. Baby florets. Also need some smart balance. I don't even know if it's butter. Is it butter? I don't know. It says butter spray. Hey, story. I did not know that I cannot believe it's not butter. It was not butter. Like when I figured out it wasn't butter, the whole world was blown. Now we are picking up the Greek yogurt. I just get the vanilla because I like to put some, uh, I like to put fruit in there along with uh, granola. So. so now we have frozen fruits. Um, I like to get these for my protein shakes. So let's see, we have peaches, pineapple, bananas, and mangoes. I'll probably get like a pack of this just to try it out. I don't think I've tried out this specific one before. Um, what else? They have strawberry, mango, papaya. This might seem interesting. Let's try that out. Where's like the typical strawberry and banana? Here we go. Strawberry and banana. Clutch right here. All right, so now we're making our way to the middle of the grocery store. So I'm picking up the infamous Kodiak protein cakes, chocolate chip. It's my personal favorite. All right, so that's the trip. I'm gonna break down everything. When I make it back to the apartment, I need to start eating, bro. Loki, uh, Loki, need to start my day. All right, let's see if I can make this all in one trip. It's just tough because I have to use my little uh, key fob to get it open, so that's always the hard part. Let's see if this can be done. Okay, we got one bag, two, we got three, four, five. Okay, we somehow managed, got the whole thing in one hand. Look at that. That's what, uh, that's what Della's gonna do to you. We did it. Oh, damn. Okay. We good though, I think. Nothing uh, too important here like that. Woo. All right, so we pretty much have everything laid out here that I picked up from HEB. There's a couple of stuff that I forgot, actually, now that I look at everything. Um, but I might pick it back up on my way home from the gym. Um, but I'll probably mention it as an honorable mention just because of the things that I'm gonna be utilizing during my cut so let's run through everything and give a detailed description as to why i eat certain things that you guys see right here all right to start let's go with the protein so obviously i have the marinated uh chicken breast this is like the heated meat i get this because it's super juicy and i got this pot here that i have with the uh top what i'm going to be doing later on today most likely is cook this with this pot and when i put the cover over it it keeps the chicken a little bit juicy because the condensation of the water keeps like Kind of recycling each other um but <clears throat> really really good it's the cilantro lime one i'm not sure if you guys can get chicken like this in any other grocery store uh, but i get it from hgb and it's the hgb brand what we have here is the jenny o ground turkey this is the most clutch item that or clutch ingredient that i have for the most part it's my favorite it's one of my favorite proteins so uh i get the 93.7 and it is uh eight grams of fat per serving, uh, 21 grams of protein. And I pretty much eat this like for my post-workout meal. It's, it's amazing. It's the most clutch ingredient that I, or one of the more staple ingredients that I've had over the last couple of years. Next up, we have the Kodiak cakes. Pretty straightforward. Um, this is high in fiber um, per serving. It is about three grams of fat, 29 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of protein. I have two servings a day for breakfast, for those of you guys that ask, and I'm gonna be making my breakfast after I finish up recording this portion of the video. We have egg whites. Egg whites are pretty straightforward, five grams of protein per serving. I probably have about uh, five servings of this for breakfast, so that's 25 grams of carbs right there, and I put that with my Kodiak cake, um, and I have that as a side. So I think that does it for protein for the most part. I mean, Greek yogurt, um, protein and carbs. 
So I'll just throw that out of the way. I use this for snacks. So in order to kind of quench that sweet tooth type of like uh, craving that I have, I use uh, Greek yogurt and a little bit of granola to kind of like get that taste out of my mouth. Um, if I ever think about <clears throat> cheating on my diet or having anything sweet, I usually go with the Greek yogurt and the granola to kind of uh, give me that sweet tooth feeling. Let's move on to uh, fruits and vegetables. So I went the frozen route for my smoothies in regards to my fruit. Um, once again, I mentioned in the grocery store that I use these and I blend it up for my protein shake. So I'll get a scoop of BP and whey protein, throw it inside of a blender along with either a mix of um, the peaches, pineapples, and bananas, and mangoes, or even the strawberry and banana, and just mix that together. I might even throw in some strong greens when I have them. I don't think I have any, so I can hit BP, uh, BP and up to get another, uh, another uh, strong greens. But mix this together with my protein shake, and that usually goes with breakfast or my post-workout meal or something I eat or drink before I go to sleep. Um, okay, more frozen fruit. We have, I mean, frozen uh, vegetables now. We have uh, the broccoli. I love broccoli. Also, we have the uh, the veggie mix, which is just going to be the corn, peas, carrots, and uh, I think that's pretty much it for the mix. But yeah, love these. I love vegetables in general. Also have Brussels sprouts, one of my favorite veggies, and then I have mushrooms and spinach as well. I think it's important to have either a serving of fruit or vegetables for every single meal that you have. I mean, that's just the way I approach it. That's why I grew up. My mom used to make veggies with everything that we had. Um, so I keep those options open whenever I'm cooking. So I normally sprinkle in the, the spinach with my egg whites, kind of give more of a more of a taste to it. And the Brussels sprouts and the mushrooms kind of, or actually, the broccoli comes in with like my ground turkey and rice along with the along with the mushrooms and the mixed vegetables actually and then brussels sprouts i kind of do the ground turkey with potato uh, with sweet potato and brussels sprouts so no matter what i'm eating i always have either vegetables or fruits like a handful and i think that's really, really important it helps with fiber and also other micronutrients so moving on from there, let's go with carb sources. So carb sources, I keep it very, very simple. Um, I have sweet potatoes and jasmine rice. And then um, you can look at the Kodiak cakes as a carb source as well, because it's about 30 grams of carbs per serving. And then um, I didn't get any of the jasmine rice because I'm loaded up on jasmine rice, but I usually use the Uncle Ben's, RIP, uh, jasmine rice, or the Uncle Ben originals. Um, brand and I get jasmine um, so I mean jasmine is pretty jasmine rice is, is pretty straightforward so it's 85 grams of carbs per serving four grams of fat and about nine grams of protein oh, that's a lot it's a lot more protein than I thought I did so for a pouch those are the macros and that's pretty much it I mean carb sources for me are, are relatively easy uh, really straight to the point now let's move on to like little additives and, and shit like that so I got the, <laughs> I literally went to the Himalayas and got their pink salt. So uh, I'm not sure what the difference is with this, but I mean, it's salt. Very essential for performance athlete like myself. I gotta make sure that all my foods are salted. Um, gotta make sure I'm getting the hydration that I need because with the way that I work out, um, my, my muscles just need that. So we got the salt. Also, cookie butter. I put this shit on my pancakes. It is amazing. Um, I don't like peanut butter. I like cookie butter over peanut butter, but that's just me. This is just literally fats and carbs. It's actually pretty hard for me to get my fats in whenever I start cooking my own meals, just because everything is like very, very lean. And uh, I use this in order to help me get those um, those grams of fat in to my diet. Next up, we got the Smart Balance butter. I'm not sure if it's butter, but it's the Smart Balance spread. Um, this has like a nice, good, Number one is fats, but it has a nice good little uh, salty taste to it. So I put this on my pancakes as well. And then next up we have Gatorade. I use this for my yak. Also 20 grams of carbs before I start my workout. Another little boost. One of the things that fam told me that we need to start doing is number one, make sure that we have a nice little bloat going. And also just like practicing eating before we go train. I know I like to train fast at all the time, but in order to get the most out of my performance, I need to make sure that I'm getting in some type of meal in before I train uh, to make sure that we're 
putting up the numbers that we need to be putting up. So Gatorade, sodium, carbs, all that good shit. I think that's pretty much it that I picked up from the grocery store. So actually the things that I'm missing, which annoyed me, was I needed to pick up some more corn tortillas. Let me show you guys. Actually, I have a decent amount, a lot. So, also have corn tortillas that I didn't pick up, but I actually have some in stock here. Um, so, basically this is another carb source that I have. This is literally just for my, my ground turkey tacos or my chicken tacos. Um, I use about maybe four per meal. But the, oh, also the macros are fucking amazing. Let me read you guys the macros. So, four, a, a serving size is three tortillas, right? So it's one gram of fat, 25 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. So that's three tortillas. I usually use um, about four to five. So, I mean, like you guys can just do the math on that. Um, and then I missed out on grabbing some pico, uh, pico de gallo. I, I forgot to pick that up. And like chicken for my, uh, for my tacos. But I mean, I do have the chicken here that could be used. But yeah, those are the two things I didn't pick up and the last thing that I didn't pick up, which is a personal thing for myself. And I use it to quench my quake, or <laughs> I was gonna say quench my craving. I use it to um, kind of get my sweet tooth out of the way as well. I love ice cream. Ice cream is like my weakness. Ice cream and burgers are my, are my absolute weakness. And there's this thing called skinny cow. So I, I get the skinny cow, uh, what is it? The uh, ice cream sandwiches, there we go. And it's literally just 30 grams of carbs, I think like two grams of protein, and then maybe two to four grams of fat. And I have that before I go to bed every single day. And I forgot to pick that up. <sighs> Great macros, but forgot to grab that. I'll probably grab it on my way back home. But enough of that, let's uh, make breakfast. And once I make breakfast, I'll explain to you guys what the idea is going forward in regards to how I'm gonna be executing this cut and what we're gonna be looking for, the tools that I'll be using um, in the game plan. So, let's cook breakfast, protein pancakes. So we need egg whites and Kodiak cakes. Make sure I turn on the light for this one. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do this pancake flip. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just gotta make sure you have a quick flick of the wrist right here, right? So uh, last time I tried to do this, I think I fucked up on the camera, but let's uh, let's make sure we kind of get all the way under there. because so we got the full pan pancake right here, all right? So then we just simply flip like that and we're good to go. So um, yeah, I mean, it's really hard because it's a full pan and it's just kind of hard to get really under there. Really the trick is like, you gotta make sure you get under there and you get a full, I guess like get the spatula right underneath the middle of it because if you get it on the side or something like that, you're not gonna have a successful flip. So you gotta get under there, get a good base, and then quick, <laughs> quick wrist action. I think the are pretty much done. So I threw the spinach in there. Let's cook the egg whites. And then gotta bring out the Himalaya salt and then um, the ground pepper as well. Yeah. Now we got parsley right here. I'm about to add this to the egg whites. I'm gonna pop the top and then bring this over here to show you guys. And I'm literally just gonna sprinkle it on top right here and we should be good. Okay, all right, so what we have here is five servings worth of egg whites, which is going to come out to 25 grams of protein. And then we have two servings of the Kodiak cakes, which is going to come out to 28 grams of protein. Mix the two and I believe that's 53 grams of protein. And then um, for carbs, we have, let me see, so two servings of the Kodiak cake is going to be 30 grams of carbs, or 60 grams of carbs, plus the 22, that's going to be 82 grams of carbs, along with 14 grams of fat, so we have about 18 grams of fat, um, about 82 grams of protein, uh, carbs, and then 53 grams of protein for breakfast. Oh, finally, we're eating breakfast. Okay. So, 
For the most part, you guys know that I like to train fasted, but as I get ready for a power up to meet, that kind of changes. And when I'm working with fam, I try my best to eat as much food as I can before I go work out. So it's already getting close to 11 just because I'm filming all this kind of stuff and it's taking a little bit longer in order to get my day started. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna eat breakfast, right? Then I'm gonna take all the uh, multivitamins and pills that I normally take in the morning. And then after that, I'll discuss with you guys kind of the game plan. But um, breakfast is going to be essential with this prep and making sure that I'm consuming food before I actually go out and train. Um, so let's go have breakfast. Let's get the first taste of this goddamn Kodiak cake. As you already know, I'm the pancake king. Let's I don't miss black. I don't miss. All right. Let's talk supplements. I just finished over breakfast and I normally take my supplements after I finish over breakfast. So what we have here is creatine, strong omegas, and then we also have uh, the multivitamins. So I take these every single day. Um, these are BPN products that you guys could purchase at bpnstuffs.com. Use my discount code if you want to save yourself 10% off. I normally take my creatine straight to the dome. I think I'm going to start taking this with water though. I'm not sure if it... I mean, it's consumed nonetheless, but I'm not sure if it like hits different if consumed with water. So I just kind of take it straight to the face. And um, it's tasteless. So it literally just feels like there's like, there's like chalk or something like that going down your, uh, your throat. So then we can take the strong omegas. Once you have your omega threes, two serving or two capsules per serving. And then we have the multivitamins. So I take uh, two per meal. You, you take four a day for a serving, but I take two with breakfast and then two with uh, with uh, my post-workout meal or lunch, and that's going to uh, do the trick or be the serving for today. So I take these every single day. Um, the creatine is for performance, um, helps with uh, just kind of like recovery, also boost performance just a slight bit in my opinion i love the way i feel on creatine um and the rest is just like the uh, essential multivitamins that you need um in order to be a little bit better than you were yesterday or without it so now let me sit down on the couch because like this explanation it might be a little bit longer i'm gonna try to shorten as much as i possibly can but we're gonna be talking about my macros game plan um and some of the strategies that we're gonna be utilizing during this cut so let's jump straight into it. All right, you guys saw me this morning weighing in at 200 pounds. The goal is to get down all the way to 185 pounds in the span of about three months. Um, the reasoning for that is because I compete now in the 82.5 uh, kg weight class, which translates to 181 pounds. And I want to be 185 to get in striking distance to execute a water cut and weigh in at the weight that I need to weigh in at. Um, I'm going to be working with Steven Pham. He's going to be my nutrition coach during this prep. I've worked with Steven before um, in my last Raw Nationals prep, and I felt absolutely fantastic. I looked fantastic, and I've never felt as strong as I felt working um, by myself or with anyone else. So Steven is going to be my guy going forward for this prep. So um, starting macros uh, right now with Steven, uh, we kind of, he kind of went through some of the stuff that worked for me in my last prep and he's looking at the macros and and uh, he thinks not too much has changed. So we are starting off with 240 grams of carbs, uh, 50 grams of fat and 200 grams of protein to begin this cut. The goal is to lose about a pound every single week. Um, I'm gonna be doing anywhere from 7,000 to 10,000 steps a day. Um, so I'm gonna be using my Fit, my Apple Watch again and charging that and making sure that I'm getting those steps in. So uh, yeah, I mean, you guys saw me kind of utilizing um, my weight scale or my food scale. I'm also gonna be using my fitness app. Um, for those of you guys that are kind of new to this process, the food scale is to measure out my food and count the amount of macronutrients that I'm consuming uh, per meal. And then also uh, apps like my fitness pal will allow me to log in the food that I'm eating. And once I log in that food, it's gonna show up, okay, this is this amount of fats, protein, and carbs, and it'll allow me to track how much I'm eating for the day. Um, I also have a Google spreadsheet that I'll fill up, uh, fill out later on today um, in regards to fam, allowing him to see like, okay, today I weighed in at 200 pounds, today I weighed in at 200.2 pounds. And he's gonna be able to see the trends that are happening along with the um, macros that it gives me. So 
all of this is going to be <laughs> calculated. It's going to be inputted. It's going to be observed and um, kind of reviewed to see what's working and what's not. It's very important that number one, I get the amount of sleep that I need. Um, stress levels are down. And then also the fact that um, I'm just kind of staying the course and making sure that I'm adhering to everything that Steven is giving to me. Um, the goal here is to once again, get myself ready before I have to be ready, if that makes sense. Uh, we have about three months to play with and, and those months are just gonna be taken very, very seriously because I want to be within striking distance very, very close or you know, further out from the meet so I'm able to kind of control the variables I need to control. Um, I don't want things to happen. It's like, oh fuck, like this kind of just fell apart. I wasn't able to kind of keep track of that. Um, so we're trying to control what we can control and then um, just be on point before we have to be on point. So whenever it's time to be on point, it's second nature. So yeah, I mean, I know for the most part, I do kind of promote intermittent fasting, um, but for the sake of being as strong as I possibly can every single time I step inside the gym, I'm gonna be making sure that I get in like a meal or two before I actually go work out. So that means I might have to wake up a little bit earlier to allow that food to digest um, or just make smaller meals in the morning. So that means probably waking up at six in the morning and cooking breakfast and then having my lunch or post-workout meal ready before I leave the house. Um, another thing that we're going to be utilizing during this prep is the fact that we're going to be doing refeed days. Uh, so we're going to be doing refeed days, which are going to be um, interchangeable depending on which day that I want to kind of feel strong on. So for example, I can move my refeed day for the week to Monday if I want to feel strong on squat. I want to squat something huge. So that refeed day, and when I say refeed day, for those of you guys that are not familiar with this term, I'm going to be eating more than the amount of uh, macros or calories that Steven is giving me. So for example, I think I'm at 22 or 2300 calories total or 24, whatever number that kind of goes out to. Um, on that refeed day, so let's say I have 240 grams of carbs to eat, it might bump up to like 320 or 300. So I'm eating a lot more food and that's gonna give me more energy for the following day um, to perform inside of the gym. So normally my refeed days kind of fall on Fridays just because Saturday, it's like my secondary squat day, but I usually feel really, really strong on Saturdays. And uh, I wanna feel even stronger by having the, those refeed days on Friday. And uh, yeah, so for the most part, that's pretty much it, I believe. That's a lot easier to explain. Um, but I'm gonna be taking you guys through my food uh, or through my meals for the rest of the day. We still have to go to the gym, it's 12 o'clock. So now we're about to go work out. I think the food is, is slowly digesting a little bit. I'm gonna head on over to the gym and hang out a little bit there. Uh, I need to make sure that I pick up some Gatorade to mix with my my pre-workout and yeah today's bench is pretty straightforward and it's, it's, uh, head on out that was easier i thought i had a lot more shit to explain maybe i did i just maybe i'm forgetting some shit i'll probably remember whenever i'm driving or maybe i just explained everything so efficiently that there's nothing else left to explain all right let's head on out yes sir and then we're also going to get a core power because this is about 42 grams of protein Look at that, 42 grams of protein in one drink. That's absolutely ridiculous. You can't, you just can't find that anywhere. So let's take this core power for the post-workout Gatorade and then put it inside the gym back. Boom, we're ready to go. All right guys, so I'm here at the gym right now. Um, I'm going over the document or my Google spreadsheet with fam. Um, so I'm just looking at everything. I have to input my weight that I was yesterday and Wednesday as well. Um, just so we could like start seeing the trends and seeing what's working, what's not working, or if we need to decrease total caloric intake. Uh, so he has everything here in this Google sheet. I'm not gonna show you guys cause like this is a paid service, but um, we basically, I mean, he basically just has what my goal is. Um, the meals that I'm consuming, um, tips here and there. He has coaches comments um, and then all that kind of stuff. So literally has the total caloric um, goal that I'm trying to hit for the day, which is 200, uh, 2,210 total calories. Uh, and like I mentioned before, 24 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat, 200 grams of protein um, with about 7,000 steps and a good adequate amount of sleep in on a daily, single, on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, okay, we got everything like that down. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna input my weight. So yesterday I was like 200 pounds. Honestly, I forgot to mention too, yesterday was Duhon's birthday. 
So I ate and drank a decent amount. So I'm, I'm assuming that I'm retaining a little bit of water. That's why I woke up at 202 pounds today. Hopefully that trend kind of goes down as the week goes down as well. And uh, yeah, so I'll update you guys whenever it's time to make my pre-workout. Also water intake wise, I drink about three of these, which is eight. This is a GBT water bottle, it's 40 ounces. Um, three pretty much equals a gallon of water. Uh, I'll make sure I pound this because water is very, very important. Um, in order to lose a little bit more water weight, you have to be consuming water. So I just want to make sure there's no excess water weight for me not drinking enough water. Water is very, <laughs> very, very fucking important. Gotta make sure you drink this. And then we also have the core power here that is present for post-workout. But I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then wait for the food to digest a little bit and then start my workout. I also might get a, a fade because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The hair has been growing out for about two weeks now and it is about time I get a nice little fade. Might replace the lighting bulb with the little wave thing again, but the boy needs a fade because this is just not, this ain't doing it, bro. Need a good, need a good fade to kind of reset the uh, the scale. But put this back, put this hat back on because looking rough, boy. Oh yeah, just got that nice little fade, you know what I mean? I don't even want to touch it because I got a bunch of loose hair, but. Got the nice fade, aha, uh -huh. forehead on five. We looking nice and good. So now we're ready to kill this workout. Ooh wee, yes sir. Ah, uh. ooh, ooh. Yeah, you know what I mean? But now we're about to start the workout, so I got my Gatorade and uh, gonna mix it with pre-workout. So I was on my Fitness Pal app. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. But I already have like all the macros that I consumed for the day so if you look right here we have 79 grams of carbs uh 20 grams of fat and 54 grams of protein oh shit you can't even see <laughs> my fault there you go uh so then we're gonna add the gatorade which is gonna be 20 grams of carbs or 22 grams of carbs and then um that should put us about like around 100 maybe 90 100 and then we're gonna go home have the post-workout meal and then obviously dinner Okay, y'all, so we got fly pre-workout, then we got the endo pump over here. So obviously mix it together with the Gatorade. Get that yak. Is this something funny? Oh, God. <coughs> God. All right, guys, I don't know if I mentioned, but today's bench, it's Wednesday. I'm feeling like it's gonna be a good session. I don't know why, I think, okay, let me let me manifest this. I think I got probably like 374 for a set of six. I think I got that for today's workout. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm, I think it's like just like the fact that I ate a decent meal and I had the Gatorade. So like I got about 100 grams of carbs inside of me, so I might be able to finesse something nice on the uh, bench today. So let's work up and see how we feeling. Also the fresh cut, cause you want a little something from so. Let's see. Fuck <laughs> lines, y'all. It ain't happening today. I don't think 374 happened. I, I just, that second warm up set, wasn't feeling it, but we're gonna keep warming up. Uh, we got 331 on the bar right now. So let's see. the footage it was fast I don't know if I should bump it up to 374 though we only got three sets that first set was easy usually my second sets where I found my groove good tech and all that kind of shit so I think I'm gonna bump it up to 374 and then do my set let's go
These motherfuckers don't want to see me in Vegas. Ugh. All right, so we hit 374 for six. It was easy, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it on the bar for another set of six. Cause life was never easy. But um, honestly, bench feels good today. When I first started lifting, I was like, it just felt like I was just out of place. And then when I got to 331, I felt good. So uh, let's do this one more set. And I think that will like get close to time to PR in terms of like doing the same amount of weight for the whole workout. So I did 352 for the first set, the 374 for both sets, of, uh, the last two sets of six. So, okay. Successful workout, so now we're about to have the post-workout shake. Honestly, it's getting kind of late. It's already 6.50, so I haven't left the gym. Um, but I already input the macros. Shit, it's super dark. Um, but 42 grams of protein, nine grams of carbs, and three and a half grams of fat. So that puts my current macros for the day at 88 grams of carbs, 23 grams of fat, and then 96 grams of protein. So then when I get back to the crib, I'm gonna have probably some chicken. What the fuck am I having? Oh, ground turkey, there we go. Ground turkey, jasmine rice, and then chicken for dinner. So, um, I'll catch you guys back in the crib after I finish this. I don't even know, I just try to open it with just one hand. Like a dumbass thing. Okay, so we're back at the crib. Um, I'm about to make my post-workout meal, so it's gonna be some ground turkey with uh, sweet potato. So the way I like to make my sweet potato is get it in a bowl, and I fill it up with water, and that's gonna gotta give it the soft texture that I'm looking for. Um, because I'm going to throw it in the microwave for about six minutes while I cook the ground turkey. And uh, like I said, it's going to give it that nice kind of like mushy uh, texture to it. And then I'm going to keep the skin on it and it adds more of like it, not a crunch, but more of a chewy, I don't know how to explain it in food terms. But um, yeah, that's basically how I make my sweet potato. So you got to fill it up all the way just so you can kind of get that water going. It's almost like you're boiling it. Um, so maybe submerge just a little bit more. There we go. And throw it in the microwave for a good five to six minutes. And then while it's cooking in here, inside the microwave, we're gonna be running the ground turkey. So that's about three and a half servings of sweet potato. And that comes out to, let me put it inside my fitness pal so you guys can see so 399 let's go right here my fitness pal so i already added it um let me change that to three and a half so 3.5 comes out to 73 and a half grams of carbs and seven grams of protein so add that in there boom and then okay let's start this a good six minutes then we're gonna get the ground turkey do two servings of that so I need to add this to my fitness pal as well. So two servings is about 16 grams, 16 grams of fat, uh, 42 grams of protein, and then I think like zero grams of carbs. But once again, kind of like turn on the ISO so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And then you guys can apply this to yourself as well. Uh, so food, dinner. I already have it logged in because this is something I eat all the time. There we go. Jenny O, ground turkey. Hit that, instead of 1.5, put two. And like I said, the macro show up right there. 16 grams of fat, 42 grams of protein, zero grams of carbs. Add that, so the macros that we have for the day is 161 grams of carbs, basically 40 grams of protein, and then, or uh, 40 grams of fat, and then 145 grams of protein. So uh, one more meal and we should be good to go. Uh, for the rest of the day so let me go ahead and cook this i know a lot of you guys want to know what i use for like seasoning and all that kind of stuff and i'm gonna show you guys we use the slap your mama <laughs> slap your mama food seasoning <clears throat> and that's pretty much it literally so slap your mama ground turkey can't forget the mushrooms i love 
Love, love, love mushrooms. And then we're also gonna be cooking the Brussels sprouts on the side to have along with the ground turkey and sweet potatoes. Let's start cooking. So, like I said, two servings worth of the ground turkey comes out to 220 grams. There we go. And then, like I said, the slap your mama. Literally, that's what it's called. Slap your mama Cajun seasoning. Now, people were asking me, like, how much do I measure, uh, measure in terms of, like, seasoning, uh, which would be useful to know, or the reason why they wouldn't know that is because sodium intake. I just kind of eyeball it. I mean, I shake it a little bit, not too much. Uh, the only time I really track sodium intake is whenever I'm actually getting ready. Ooh, damn, hot. The only time I actually track is when I'm getting ready for a meet. I'm doing a water cut. That's when I track my sodium intake, and I make sure I put a shit ton more of sodium. So like we'll actually measure out how much sodium I'm doing. But whenever it's like in the, not off season, but whenever we're kind of like prepping down and getting ready to just lose weight, I don't really track sodium like that. I'm not eating an exorbitant amount of sodium. I try to track it. Uh, just making sure I'm getting enough in and just like understanding like, okay, we need to get a decent amount of sodium. And then once we start doing the water cuts protocol, which is like about a week out, that's when I actually start dialing in on sodium and tracking. It's like, okay, we need six grams today. We need eight grams today. And uh, so on and so forth. So I let the ground turkey cook. So the way I like to cook my ground turkey is I like to basically char the outside and keep the inside pink. Um, so I cook it on high to start off. And then as I see the top of the ground turkey uh, get a little bit more color to it, then I'll flip it over and then add the mushrooms in to cook. And uh, that's basically the way I like to cook my ground turkey. Then around that point, I throw the Brussels sprouts in because the Brussels sprouts cook really, really fast. It's a shredded Brussels sprout. I cook it on the pan, add a little bit of uh, salt to it, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this. Ground turkey looks like it's ready to be flipped over. A little bit early, but that's fine. That's okay. Boom. So at this point, Add in the mushrooms. I love mushrooms. You guys don't have to add a mushroom if you don't want it, but me personally, gotta have the mushrooms. Put them out in there, and all they know, uh, mushrooms have like a decent amount of protein. So, you know, ground turkey, almost all the pink is gone. And then I let that sit a little bit so the mushrooms can kind of get like a little bit different texture. I believe the sweet potatoes are done. To show you guys. I believe the sweet potatoes are done. Um, kind of feel that out. Let's see. I think you can do one more minute and just we'll let it sit. So we'll do like maybe 30, 30 seconds to a minute left. Um, so you guys will notice all my meals are super duper easy to cook. My main thing is convenience. Um, last thing I want to do is head back home after a long day of working and working out and then like it takes about 30, 40 minutes for me to get meals cooked out. This literally took me about six minutes to cook. Six to 10 minutes tops. All right, y'all, so this is the finished product. So we have sweet potato with ground turkey, mushroom, and Brussels sprouts on the side. The last thing I need to do is just sprinkle some parsley on top of there, and then we're good to go. Actually, let me just go ahead and do that so I can give you guys the best presentation possible. One thing you're gonna learn about me is I put parsley on goddamn everything. So here we go. I need to buy some more parsley. Parsley, 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 parsley. Boom. We have my post-workout meal. I actually need to get some more Himalayan salt on there. I need to put it on the uh, sweet potato. But this is going to be my post-workout meal. And uh, yeah, so I'll come back to you guys whenever it's time to eat dinner. I'm going to chow down on this, listen to some uh, YouTube videos. <sighs> Enjoy, cause I'm fucking hungry as shit. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It is just way too late. So it's 11, <sighs> oh, 5 p.m. I was planning on having um, basically jasmine rice. Uh, let me see if I can see it. But the, <laughs> well, we're here showing chips. This is from Super Bowl weekend, by the way. 
But Jazz, I was looking to uh, have jasmine rice and uh, the chicken for dinner. But it's just, it's so late, bro. And I'm still full from the post-workout meal that I had. So I'm actually just going to make a uh, protein shake. Um, so I think I'm going to put some Greek yogurt in there to kind of get the carbs up. So that's two servings of the uh, fruit blend right here. So that's about 36 grams of carbs. I'll probably add in a scoop or two of the Greek yogurt and then a scoop of my BPN whey protein. So that's going to add... 25 grams of protein. Actually, I'll probably have to add two scoops. So that's 50 grams of protein, not the apple pie. But let's see if I have some milk and cookies. Yes, we do. Perfect. So I'll grab some of the milk and cookies and uh, add some Greek yogurt. And then that's going to be <laughs> dinner for the most part. Like I said, it's way too late. I'm super full and I just need to find something that I could just kind of down if that makes sense um overall volume is not going to be similar to having like a full pouch of jasmine rice along with like two servings of chicken um i can get the same macros by doing this and uh, i just ran out of time normally i would like to wake up way earlier probably like six o'clock to uh, get my breakfast in and then a lot of that to digest go work out come back home and have two meals in but uh, i just ran out of time so this is what we have to do in order to make it work and Sometimes that just is what it is. Johnny slash the people are creatures of the creatures of the devil. Let's try this out. This is actually the first time I've had this combination. I always drink fruit smoothies or protein fruit smoothies, but uh, I've never had like this interesting combination. Let's see. That's really good. Mm. I, uh, this is actually very fucking good. Mm. Okay. So if I add up the, uh, if, I add up, if I add in the gator that I had earlier this morning, I forgot to put that in my fitness pal. That's another 22 grams of carbs. So that puts my macros. I'm, I'm a little bit off, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm probably like, I'm maybe 15 grams off of my carbs and then probably like five, I wanna say probably like five grams off my fats. Um, not exactly where I wanna be, but Obviously, just kind of get like I just missed my meal timing. Um, I don't like to eat way too late into the evening. Um, I just would have force fed myself today and it just would have been too much. So, ideally, what I would want to do going forward is like I mentioned earlier, wake up like around six, maybe seven in the morning, get breakfast out of the way, and then um, obviously work out a little bit earlier and then have my meal my second meal in probably like around three or four. And then when I get back to the career, I'm allowed to digest a little bit more then I'm able to actually get my last meal into the day around like eight or nine. Um, just wasn't able to do that today. Just ran out of time, but it's all good. So I um, hope you guys kind of got some more insight as to, uh, I have this full ass door open. Hope you guys were able to get a little bit more insight as to, you know, what I'm gonna be doing going forward for my nutrition. Um, I'll be updating you guys constantly. Uh, just because it's something that I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, going forward. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and watch Abbott Elementary. Um, hopefully knock out by 12. The goal in this prep is to get as much sleep as possible because sleep allows you to recover. And um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and for today, I'm out.